Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, Hi. and I am joined today by a pair of national champions on the summit. And I really appreciate getting to visit with folks from Friends, the powerlifting team, Dulce de la Cruz and Tyler Wilson, national champions. Congratulations, guys, on those titles. I want to talk about that as we get started here. Uh, you all competed with the Friends University powerlifting team. You were part of the USA Powerlifting Nationals, which took place last week in Illinois. Talk about your experience up there. The Falcons came away as a team with a sixth-place finish. Also, what was it like for you? Um, honestly, um, I was nervous uh, getting there. I was more calm overall. But I was a little worried because I did have an injury uh, earlier this semester. So I was more worried about that. But overall, I think the team did amazing. Everyone did great. And honestly, yeah. <laughs> Tyler, you make the trip up to Illinois. And, and as a team, again, it sounds like everything went well. It sounds like you all performed well as a team. Yeah, I mean, I was really excited to go up because I probably – felt more confident going into this meet than I ever have before. And a lot of people had really good preps going into the meet. So I was really excited to see how everyone would do. Well, as individuals, you both come away as national champions. Delsa, I'll start with you first, a national champion in your division, and you were an all American as well. So as a team, they did well, but you had an opportunity to shine. Definitely. <laughs> um, it, it was, I felt good. Um, going into that competition, I was really confident about my lifts. So, yeah. Now you also set a personal record while you're there. And I realize these things, they come and go. And there are times when you're really doing well. And if you go in, you know, really feeling good that maybe a little bit more adrenaline or however that goes, but when you are able to not only win a national championship, but set a new mark for yourself as well, is that just an added bonus? Definitely. It just makes me, um, want to try harder now it just makes me <laughs> want to break uh records next year actually <laughs> hopefully well when you, but, but it's nice to get to do it on a stage like that talk about what that feels like to know that you just set a new mark for yourself then in front of uh, of such a, a a national audience um honestly um <laughs> i was just i wasn't really thinking about what numbers I should do. I just wanted to feel comfortable in everything and every lift. And I felt like my deadlift is um, better than my squat and bench. So I kind of just wanted to um, do something new there, see how much I could pull. <laughs> I understand. Tyler, you also uh, had a nice, nice performance as well. You come away with the national championship. And I had read something that you mentioned also. You were told that you, you have to hit your last deadlift to win nationals. And that was something that to you was pretty exciting. Talk about what, what that meant and, and talk about that moment. Well, going into the meet, I, you know, I did research on the other people I was going against because I had probably I had like five people within 12 and a half kilos of my qualifying total. So I knew it was going to be a battle to the end. And I knew that I was going to have to PR every lift and have a perfect performance if I wanted a chance to win. And I thought even then, if I did have a PR perfect performance and didn't miss a lift, I, it still might be close by the end. So, you know, I had a really good prep. I got to bulk since they changed the weight classes and a lot of people, that I was going up against were in the upper weight class cutting down. So I had an advantage there and I was just ranked number one by about five kilos going in. So those factors, along with the fact that I had basically a perfect meat prep, the best I've had in my life. I hit two PRs on my, or I hit a PR on squat and bench and they were like very easy about two weeks before the meet, you know, all of those factors pointed to me being able to, hit a PR on each lift going into the meet. And, you know, I knew I was going to have to do that. So, you know, we got through squat and bench and I hit a PR on both of those. They were like, a, I think it was a 10 kilo PR on squat and like a seven and a half kilo PR on bench. And we knew we were really far ahead going into deadlifts. And we figured the situation was going to have to be like that because usually I fall behind in the squat and I can kind of keep up in bench, but I, 
typically pull ahead in the deadlift. So, you know, we got to deadlift and I hit my first two and we were in range to put on something that no one was going to able to beat us on. And it was pretty cool. You know, I had, I had Hannah back there handling me and she was picking my numbers and doing the math and making sure that we'd stayed ahead the whole time. And she told me that, uh, to win for sure, I was going to have to hit the last deadlift that we had loaded, which was 728. And, uh, it would make it to where the, whoever was in second place would have to pull something crazy way out of their range that they weren't <laughs> comfortable with. So, you know, it was pretty cool. The situation ended up being, I would have had to miss my third deadlift and the guy in second would have had to hit his, but the opposite ended up happening with me hitting mine and him missing his. So, you know, when she came up and told me that, you know, powerlifters dream of that moment at night, you know, you get told at nationals, you have to hit your last deadlift to win nationals. You know, you tell all your friends, you're like, uh, if that ever got told me, you know, I think I could pick up the world. <laughs> you know, there was no other moment in the sport bigger than that one, and it felt great to hit it. Well, and along the way, too, you set an American record. Talk about what that meant, too. Again, as, as uh, we're talking about with Elsa, that you're you're on a stage like that and, and to get to set a new American record. Um, it was it was whatever, I guess. I mean, it kind of just happened. The, when the weight classes got changed, the total American record got moved down to like 685 kilos or something. And I knew everyone in the top 10 was going to be totaling over like 750 kilos. So it was just going to end up being whoever won was going to end up with that one. And, you know, I just ended up winning. So I had it. But there was also the deadlift American record was only like 300 kilos. And I knew probably three people, including myself, were going to be deadlifting more than that. And I just barely got out deadlifted by one person by about five kilos, but still ended up with the win and the total American record. So I couldn't be too mad. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Tyler Wilson and Delsa De La Cruz with us here on Midwest sports net here on the summit. And I want to say thank you for watching today. We're in studio C today, moving some things around a little bit here at Midwest sports net. And I encourage you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond friends competing in the collegiate division at the USA powerlifting nationals and collegiate division. We've had uh, many, many folks from friends here on the broadcast before so in so many different sports in NAI school, but this collegiate division encompasses the NAI, the NCAA, all divisions, uh, junior college. It's really a, a, a fantastic meet in powerlifting. Both of you all work with Coach Joe Belden, and he's also been on the program as well here. Uh, just to uh, talk about your time with him, and also I, I would say I, I'm going to ask each one of you, and how, how did you get to friends? Dulce, you come from Floresville, Texas, and, and you're a sophomore with the program. I think it's really cool. They're proud of you, by the way, at Floresville. I don't know if you know this or not. They have a link to your bio on the high school website. So, I, I mean, uh, your name is big and bold there with Floresville. They're proud of you. I did not know that, actually. <laughs> um, working with uh, Coach Bellin, it's, it's great. Um, he has m helped me so much here, and he's always there for me when I, like, I need him. So, yeah, it's. I'm honored to be in this team, actually. So, yeah. Well, I know you've been a big part of the, of the program and, and the rise of the program as well and, and uh, making some noise even as a freshman, too. Tyler, you didn't have to travel quite as far to get to friends. Uh, what is it, about 15 miles maybe from Andover across the way? You didn't even have to get on 35, do you? Did you just bypass 35 altogether and just scoot across like town? <laughs> how, how did you make it over to friends this year, senior year? Well, um, I went to a high school in Andover and I wanted to play football and, um, I went on a visit to friends and I really liked it. And I ended up going to friends to play football and I've been in choir the whole time too. So being able to do those two things while living at home, you know, it was things I wanted to continue and I was able to save a bunch of money doing that. But, you know, I played football my first three years at friends and then, and I decided that after last school year that I wanted to be really good at powerlifting. So I was just going to stick to powerlifting. And obviously I've trained powerlifting specific for the last year and it's paid off. By the way, I think that's an incredibly cool combination. It's not something you hear very often football and choir, but uh, we're, we're all about music in, in this household as well, along with sports. So I commend you for that. I think that's pretty great. Well, 
I, I really appreciate the time that both of you have given me today. And, and I want to ask you this as, as we wind down, how do you follow this up? Both of you will be back next season to be a part of the program. Delsa, how do you, you follow something like this up? Hopefully another national championship or all American, but uh, talk about what your goals are then going into the next year. Uh, next year, I probably, I want to win another national champion. That's the goal. But another goal for me now is just to break records at this point. Because I feel like I can do it. Something that I want to do. Tyler? Um, well, the work has already started as of Monday to set up another national championship run. Um, oh, you guys didn't get much of a break. <laughs> four days. You know, you don't have to start out super heavy right when you come back, just as long as you're doing something. But I was, I, as soon as I was done, within hours, I was thinking of what I wanted to do next. And by next nationals, obviously, I want to I want to win another national championship. That's the standard now. And I've thought about some specific goals on each of my lists. Um, next year at nationals, I want to squat 300 kilos, which is uh, 660 in pounds. I want to bench 200 kilos, which is 440 in pounds. And I want to deadlift. I haven't quite decided, like, at probably somewhere around 350, which I think is 770. I want to hit something like that. And I want an 850 kilo total, which is, I'm not sure what that is in pounds whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate the specificity of that. I, that. I mean, you really, you, you have it down. Well, guys, I, I know that not only I'm sure you'll, you'll do well next year, but a program really that that's young and coach Belden has got it going and, and is doing a fantastic job there as well. But it, it's not, it, it has a ways to go. It has a ways to grow and your names will be remembered I'm sure for years and years to come because of what you've done and what you've meant to the program here in these early years at Friends with the Powerlifting. With uh, Dulce Daly Cruz and, and Tyler Wilson, thank you all very much for being with me on the summit today and success to you as you get ready for next year. Already started getting ready for next year. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being with me on the program. Appreciate you all watching. Again, please consider subscribing to the channel. God bless you. Have a great day.